Good morning. You are listening to Upreach, a morning devotional presented by the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee, to encourage you as you face the opportunities and challenges of today. Let's begin this day together with some inspiring thoughts from God's Holy Word. I know how to be abased, and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things I have learned both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians chapter 4, verses 12 and 13. This morning I would like to continue some thoughts on living victoriously in spite of possible handicaps and crises as we were discussing yesterday morning. We said that if a person has a handicap and is determined to conquer it, nature, as God has designed it, becomes his ally. I know a person who had to have a very delicate and serious eye operation. For a long time, this involved lying in a hospital bed with her eyes bandaged so that no ray of light might come near them. This friend told me that in less than a week, she could tell exactly which nurse was walking along the corridor simply by the sound of her feet and could even identify a person by their touch. It was as if all the other faculties and senses sharpened and strengthened themselves to make up for the one which had temporarily ceased to function. God shows his favor through nature to the person who refuses to give up. No person is beaten by a handicap until he admits defeat, and he need never do that. The one thing which will enable a person to refuse to admit defeat is some kind of aim and purpose in his life. The college professor, in continuing to recount the story of the wonderful successes of his blind student, says, He did not tell me so, but I should not be surprised if my student examinee's brave victory was in no small measure due to the fact that he had set his heart on entering the ministry of the church. The determination never to avoid becoming useless, the determination somehow to do a job for God and for others, the determination to make some contribution to life, the determination to achieve some measure of independence will collectively take a person a very long way in life. Arguably, the greatest example of powerfully overcoming adversity is Paul with that terrible thorn, that stake, as it might well be translated, turning and twisting in his tortured body. He beats it because he brings two things to it, he brings his own determination, and he brings that amazing grace of God in which he was able to do all things, because his weakness is made strong in the strength of God. See 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9, and Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. What about you today? If you have some handicap or ongoing struggle, you and God can do something about it together. Are you willing to trust him to give you victory? even when it may seem the odds are stacked against you? This has been Upreach, a presentation of the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee. I am Kyle Bolton, the pulpit minister at Church Street, and I would like to personally invite you to come and share times of Bible study and worship with us each week. We meet every Sunday at 9 o'clock a.m. for our morning worship, followed by our Sunday school for all ages at 10.15 a.m. Then we meet again at 6 o'clock p.m. for our evening worship. We also have a midweek meeting for devotion and Bible study on Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. I hope to see you there. Have a blessed day. As the deer for the water, for the water, so my soul is after you long Thirst for the living God, for the living God. Yes, my soul, yes, my soul, after you long time.